Hey everyone, I'm um, just going to do a little bit of a quick um, digital edit for you. <coughs> I've got my, I'm going to go start to finish. So um, I'm currently, I've got my baby in Asia. Um, so I'm going to show you um, how I lighten these areas here. Um, as you can see, this is straight out of camera. Oh, I did. I've listed the shadows a bit. Um, so what we're going to do, I'll show you now. Okay, so that is my straight out of camera image. So baby's in the posy on a um, white uh, wraparound rug. I've got a little bean here under his head just for a bit of support um, but he was quite little so you can see that um, he's sort of sunken in this side which as my light's coming in it's hitting the edge of the fluff here and making this area darker um, which will affect how I pop it into a digital so uh, I'm going to show you how I lighten all of that as well but my first um, steps um, just gonna oh, I like a little bit lower of contrast image images um, with newborns so in my hue and saturation slider in ACR I'm just gonna remove a bit of yellow not too much you don't want it to do that that's gonna look gray and horrible so just a little bit but like I said this one is pretty much um, as it is so I'm lucky enough that uh, this particular Kelly felt is my favorite and it is very very nice in color tone i'm just going to remove a touch of red just because he's got um, a little bit of red in his face and i'm going to remove some shadows a little bit and i'm going to open my image now this is the digital that i'm going to put it into um oh, it's gorgeous i love it i love this new background oh, so pretty um, so let's go with um, what I'm going to do first. So lasso tool and I'm just going to select this area here and in my adjustments we're going to go levels. You could do curves as well. Levels or curves is not going to matter. And I'm just going to slide that up so you can see if I turn that off. And I'll turn it back on again. I'm just going to bring the opacity down a little bit. That was a bit too much. <laughs> so that's perfect the way it is. Um, I'm not that far from my light. So as you can see, the edge of my curly felt here is um, overexposed. But it doesn't really matter for this, for what I'm doing it for. So... Um, I'm not taking any of that into the image. So like I said, I'm going to do start to finish edit. Um, so my clients have requested that his little red stalk gets removed. So that's just quickly happening there. So I'm just using the patch tool uh, for my skin. Now, if you hand edit, awesome. Um, I don't have time. So I use quite a few different sets of actions. So don't mind me as I run those. Um, it's just easier. Not easier, quicker. Okay. Photoshop's running slow today. I do all of my skin edit before I take baby uh, into my digitals. But what I, I tend to do is, because I do a lot of digitals um, and posting and things like that, I tend to, after this, after I've done uh, the skin edit, I will um, save it as is so that then I can put it into the baby at any given point in time. Um, His feet are a little bit red. 
and sew his cheeks. Pretty good. Now this one looks a little out of focus, but it's not. I'm in it like 300%, so. So like I said, this is how I do my edits. Um, maybe does have a touch of red hair so I'm not going to um I'm not going to remove any of that okay lasso tool again so that's pretty much all I do with skin lasso tool again uh, this time I'm going to do an adjustment layer and we're going to go curves and I'm just going to bring up exposure just a little bit again um, but in doing so that makes the skin tones a bit different so I'm just going to warm up his uh, skin like I said if you do it all by hand awesome um, I've just got stuff that works for me now I really um, quite like how I get it all to work I may adjust his uh, skin again as I put him into the digital. So the next thing I'm going to do is, this is the digital I'm going to use. I really want to make his suit a bit darker. So Command J, um, it's creating a duplicate layer with a mask. Uh, the reason I've done that is I'm going to attempt to color change. It might not work this method, uh, so under here we're going down to colour and I'm going to select a different blue, not that one, it's going to be darker. No, alright. So I'll just decided that that method on <laughs> this pale colour really won't work. So hue and saturation and I'm going to select the blues using the eyedropper tool. Holding down shift to select all the different blues. So this way you can color change because we've only selected the blues. It's only changing the blue tones in the image. I'm just working on it, that's all. I'm going to uh, add curves and I'm going to invert that and just paint it on or mask it on. So this isn't changing a lot, it's just giving it a deeper tone. So I'll show you if we turn them off. So that's how it started. And first just increased the blues a little bit and then added a curves layer, just adjusting those um, mid-tones. And like you can play around with it and see where you want to go with it. So I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to flatten my image. I'm going to take baby across into the digital. So there's many different ways to do it. I drag and drop <coughs> and create a layer mask. Uh, 
um, command T, I'm going to transform the size of the image, holding down shift, I sort of have a gauge of how, how big I want baby. Now it really all depends on how you like to, to do this, but this is the way I prefer. Uh, so I'm going to grab a nice big soft brush. And this helps blend the two textures of fluff together. So you can see that um, the fluff in Louise's digital here is a lot different to mine. So in using a big soft brush, it means that the edge of the brush is really soft. So therefore, um, as you're masking, the, uh, the textures blend together beautifully. So I'm just going to turn him slightly. Now I like babies bigger in digitals because I think it really helps with parents um, visually. Uh, they don't really understand how it's done or why it's done the way it is, but um, I think doing it this way makes them it makes it believable. If baby is too small, um, it's just going to look a bit strange. If baby's too big, you're not going to be able to mask it properly. Okay. So uh, you can see that I went over the baby, but we're just going to uh, change our brush to white now and just blend all of baby back in, especially all those little toes. Don't be afraid to come in nice and close. Then I'm going to change my brush to 30% opacity and I'm going to brush my fluff over the digital fluff. Now this really helps bring in all those natural shadows in and around baby, especially around the head here. And you can see that that is beautifully blended. Okay. So what I'd like to do here is turn it off and turn it on again. Now that sometimes if I'm going a bit fast or if I'm being a little bit lazy, I end up with, you know, some of my original digital on the outside. So this shows me that I haven't left any bits around. And I can see exactly where my fluff is and the digital fluff. And you see I've got all these nice little soft shadows. With white or lighter digitals, you don't need the really heavy shadows like what um, you will with the darker ones because a lighter digital, um, white is such a reflective surface, so the shadows are always going to be a lot softer. So I'm going to flatten my image. And hue and saturation and I'm just going to take out some of those yellows. So what I've just done there is I selected, um, I'll start again, so selecting the yellow channel in hue and saturation and the eyedropper and selecting one of these lighter and I'm just going to reduce the opacity just a little bit. It's not a lot but it's just softening um, all the yellow tones in the image and that is literally just to blend in with how I um, photograph and how this digital will fit into my client's gallery. So I'm going to run We're going to have to warp up those toes, I think. Why is it not? It's just been a bit slow this morning. So, 
start again because I <laughs> just clicked on it twice so I was being impatient. So like I said, this is start to finish. I don't mind a matte finish on on my newborn images. Okay, contrast down, and again, I'm just going to select using the lasso tool and curves. I'm just going to darken those little tootsies a little bit, just because um, they need to fit in with the. The rest of the baby skin tone. And there you have it. That is start to finish how I will present this particular image to my client.